Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am introducing two more new collections for May at Spellbinders. On the right, this is the Hexy Gems Collection and on the left, this is the Glimmer Cardfront Sentiments Collection. Ooh, and I am putting both collections together in this video because some of the elements within this collection are in that free Glimmer workshop that's coming this weekend. Yes, I want to talk about it one more time. On Saturday, May 13th at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 noon Eastern Time, there is a live event for crafters and it is the Glimmer workshop. There is a two-part Glimmer workshop. There is the main workshop, which is the beginner's workshop. Then there is the advanced workshop. Notice my hands are moving. <laughs> if you received your main class kit already, you're seeing some of the goodies here within that kit. That kit was bundled with everything that's going to be shown in that workshop. That class kit is still available. Actually, both class kits are still available. I don't know if it's going to arrive in time for the 13th. You can still purchase it because it's bundled with special price and you get hot foil rolls, you get cardstock, you get some of these goodies shown here instead of buying them individually. The workshop is airing live on the 13th and the reason why I keep stressing that you guys watch the workshop on the 13th live, two reasons. One, you're going to get to ask questions. Number two, it will give you a date to do it. The workshop will be available forever after the 13th. So if you have something and you just can't make it, yes, you can watch it later on. That's probably why the kits are still available to purchase, beginners and advanced. Main class kit, advanced class kit. When you have a target date, it will get you to finally use your Glimmer hot foil machine. These classes are geared towards crafters who just have been parking their Glimmer machine, new in the box, and I'm telling you, you are missing out on some Glimmer goodness. Seriously, if you have not seen many examples from me over and over again, it is well worth just taking it out the box, plugging her in and using it. And that's why this workshop is good because it's going to be step by step. Or if you have been interested in the Glimmer and you've been holding off because you're just like, I can't do it, I can't do it. Watch the workshop and decide then because you're going to see it going at a slower pace. And you can be like, okay, okay, I will link my Glimmer tutorial recently here above. And you will need a wide opening machine like your Spellbinders Platinum 6, Platinum Machine, Sizzix Big Shot, Vagabond, We Are Memory Keepers, Evolution, Cuddlebug. Those machines will work with this whole system, okay? Let's talk about Class Kit 1 first. And I... Glimmered some. I still have some examples, so I will have some card shares before Saturday coming for you guys to see. This is the Hexi Gems collection. So why is it called Hexi Gems? Hexagon shape. Let's start off with another essential set. This is the essential Hexi Gems dies. 14 dies. So crafters, here's my little sidebar on these essential die sets at Spellbinders. These are fabulous and great price point. They will take you from, I want to make a card. I have no idea where to start. Why can't I finish this card to actually finishing a card? Trust in these little foundation dies. They will get you there. So this one is essential hexy gems. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Previous video, you saw this. That's using essential floral reflection. Love helped me finish the card, didn't it? In the past, essential four petal labels. And notice the die counts too. This is 14, this is 10, this one is seven. So you get lots of layers. This one is essential four petal labels. Look at it there. Love. Recently, essential stylish oval dies. Look at all of that. Goodness. It gave me a place to start and finish and create the card. Because at one point, when I do get lost, it's like, okay, essential diamonds, that's an oldie but goodie. Use her. Essential arches, same thing. Arches love all these essential sets. I will put a general link for them. So now we're going from these shapes. 
See, it even gave me, this is essential diamonds again, a starting point. Believe in that starting point. And then to finish. This is a new shape now. Essential hexi, which is a hexagon. Okay. Tallest one. You're looking at five and a half. The width is at three and three quarters of an inch wide. So if you use an embossing folder underneath it, you'll get this space to play with. You have more options to go smaller and smaller and smaller. Love that. This is part of the main class kit you'll see on Saturday. Next, Hexi Gem Blooms Hot Foil Plate. I have two examples done, just waiting to be colored up, or you don't have to color it up either. And this comes with the coordinating die. You're seeing two pieces right here. I did both of these in my favorite right here, Satin Metallics Hot Foil Roll. I bought another pack, it was on sale during the spring cleaning warehouse sale, yeah. I will link that below. Great little four pack. So I used this colorway, this colorway. Both of these are on hammer mill cardstock. It's a ultra smooth cardstock that I can use to color with my alcohol markers. Think Copics and Olo markers, okay? So pretty though. Little bit of overfolding here, but guess what? I have the dye or I can get rid of that. If you can't get rid of it, put a gem on top. <laughs> but both of these are in that A2 panel size. So Hexigem Blooms. This will also be in the Glimmer Workshop, okay? Also available in that same Glimmer Workshop, but uber exciting. If you didn't get that main class kit, this little set right here. Hexigem Sentiments. Glimmer Hot Foil Plate with coordinating fishtail banner dies. Love. Notice you're seeing one plate with nine sentiments and nine slots to cut all of this out. This is perfect for factory mode. I just made a bunch and this also maximizes your sheet of cardstock. You're looking at four and a quarter inch by I think four inches. You have to do a little bit of space to account for this width of the fishtail, okay? Super easy. What you're seeing here is Two sheets of black cardstock. I like to use that Diane Revely journal page. I will link that below in the extra supplies. I'm using here matte gold, opaque white hot foil roll, hammer mill cardstock, opaque black hot foil roll. The opaque black and white come together as a two pack. Love, love, love. I picked up a few rolls during the spring cleaning warehouse sale that was on sale too. The sentiments are, and you can see them right here. Happy birthday, thinking of you. Love you more. Thanks so much. With sympathy, sending a note. Hello, friend. Get well wishes and congratulations. All occasion again. Love the all occasion. This is a different look. So you're like, oh, but you just showed the one the other day from Simon's collection. Yes, but he doesn't have a fishtail. So you go like this and you line it up, put some little yellow tape and you run it through your die cut machine. Isn't that fabulous? Love, love, love. Easy, easy to use. And then you get loads of sentiments ready to go. So I was in full factory mode. I made a bunch, as you can see, and you will see this in the Glimmer Workshop. Absolutely, totally worth it. If you just wanna have a set of sentiments ready to go without having to heat up your machine and start over again just to get one sentiment. I love my factory mode. And you can use these on any cards. Tap these on. These are just fabulous. It does work very well with this from the examples I've seen, okay? You can do the floral, then you can put one of these cross here. Done. Clean card, ready to go. If you want to have more fun, and this will also be in the workshop, there is the Glimmer Hexi Gem Hot Foil Plate. This now does the reverse. So when you glimmer this, and you take off that hot foil with the image of the flower, you can then use this piece to Work on that negative so you get a two for one. Then you can cut around it with this. <laughs> Don't you love a comprehensive set? And I love that they did focus on the hexagon shape because this is a popular shape, almost like the diamond. But if you love your geometric, and this is great, a viewer had commented that she just has to make a lot of masculine cards. She has a lot of 
obviously guys in the family, so she's always in need of masculine cards. This collection is great for that. This whole hexi gem collection has that geometric shape, but you can work this with many colors. You can make a card just from layering this up in all shades of blues, etc. Have fun with this. Fabulous. Also with masculine, think of Simon Hurley with Spellbinders. And folks. lastly, Stitching just had to make a little appearance. <laughs> <laughs> this is not in the Glimmer Workshop. I will play with this and it's not going to be hard stitching because you're only stitching here. You could stitch this little piece too, but you don't have to. And then there's also some decorative pieces here too. I think they're stitching on this one too. Let me show you an example here of it done. This little space right here, you know what that is good for, right? Coming back to those sentiments. Put that sentiment right across here. So it gives you a marker to use this if you wish. You don't have to, but you can because it's right there, ready to go. You could also use this for masculine cards too. It's the whole geometric thing that gives you that, oh, it can cross over into that. Stitched Kaleidoscope Hexi Gem. Do you have to do stitching on it? No. Oh, I'm going to find out too if it works with, it probably does work with this because normally these sets go together. So I'm going to see which one in here fits with this. I could have that as a background too. Uh-huh. <laughs> All righty, so that's it for the Hexi Gems collection. Up next, we have the Glimmer Card Front Sentiments Collection. What I see in the advanced class is this one. Little Card Big Hello Hot Foil Plate. If you're like, what is this? These are exactly what they say they are. Glimmer Card Front. So I went into factory mode. I was going to do one or two, but this was so easy to glimmer. I was having a blast. Little card, big hello. Look at that. And I cut all my panels, which I normally don't do, but I was maximizing my sheet of hammer mill cardstock. I took that eight and a half inch sheet, cut down the center at four and a quarter on the eight and a half inch side. Then on the 11 inch side, you cut at five and a half. So I get four A2 panels. Let me say that again, just so you guys can understand what I mean. This is a eight and a half inch wide, 11 inch sheet of hammer mill cardstock. To get four of these A2 panels, right here at eight and a half inch, you go in half at four and a quarter. Then on the 11 inch side at five and a half inch, you cut that as well and you end up with four of these panels. Two, three, four. Look at all the color and fun I had. And I did all the sentiments. I was gonna do like one or two because now I have all these card fronts to work with, but I am not mad at these card fronts. They are fabulous. I was like, oh, at first I was like, what? And then I glimmered it and I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, this is a canvas to go on. It gives you a nice large sentiment. But then after that, you can work on it. Now you could stay right here, put it on a card base and you're done. Love that too. So you can make four card fronts on one sheet of paper with sentiments. Here is little card, big hello. This is done again. Satin metallics, hot foil roll, my favorite color, that dark gold, satin. I'm just waiting for it to come as a single roll. This hasn't happened yet, but one day. <laughs> this is the one that will be in the Glimmer Workshop. Let me give you a quick measurement. You're looking at three and three quarter, by two and a half. You could make a bunch of these and give them as a gift to somebody. That would be nice to just give them a box of cards. This is just so nice because it is an A2 card. At the same time, it's also very modern, but it also gives you room to decorate if you want to decorate, but you don't have to. This is so pretty with the hot foiling. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? You got to give Glimmer a try. Under five minutes. Hello and <laughs> done. Love. Little card, big hello. Spellbinders was just having so much fun with it because they realized, wait a second, this can be a lot of fun for crafters, especially when you need that quick, quick, quick card that you're like, oh my gosh, I got to go out later and I don't have a thing done. You don't have two hours to make a card. Just do one of these. Here is now you're meeting up some crafty friends and you say, buy me craft supplies and call me pretty. When I'm this going to a crop, Notice I changed the colorway. This is in that cobalt blue. I can make a bunch of gifts for crafters to put on their tables because when we go to crops, we carry gifts for each other. Yes, 
yeah that's when you start crafting projects and this would be super easy and quick and i can make multiples mass produce it's called buy me craft supplies love and you can get four out of one sheet of paper so if i use three sheets i get 12 crafters done love that up next we have giant thank you hot foil plate this one fabulous you could have a bunch of these to give to somebody as a gift in a box or at your desk at work in a box ready to go or in a little baggie a bunch of these done so you're at work something happens you're like you know what let me get out one of those thank you cards there you go ready to go give this to somebody just slip it at their desk and they'll come back to their desk and open it up and go oh yeah this is a good one a giant thank you love this and i love the word giant in it and you don't have to decorate it you could stay right here love that the only thing you are doing is picking the color so if you're working with a bunch of women who love super bright colors go into the magenta the cobalt blue sky bright if you're working where you are giving this to both guys girls etc go into the opaque black go into these colors and i did all my bases in white too this would be gorgeous on a black base with the white opaque but you don't have to but you can do it if you want to <laughs> and you can still just have these ready to go so that's a great idea for quick thank you cards this card is full of hugs this is another one that you could also give to somebody for anything touch of overfalling i just need to clean that up this is on that sky bright blue isn't that pretty so this is called card is full of hugs hot foil plate love isn't this fabulous guys up next birthday of course birthday cannot be forgotten best wishes on your birthday i did it both in magenta and in the satin metallic my favorite gold color and in person see the sun reflecting on it oh super pretty can you decorate it oh you bet you can i'll talk about this one how we can decorate it in a moment lastly this one which is just so much fun all of my favorite things opaque black hot foil roll so all of my favorite things pizza coffee cake and you isn't that cute so i could decorate this one with the country roll collection i could put like a tomato here for pizza i could use for the birthday one see how i'm using a different collection for this i could do the present put a present there florals oh let's not even talk about florals florals you can use a bunch there is garden builder dies you could put the florals here I had actually cut some die cuts ready from the large die of the month, balloon and birthday wishes. I love this little set too. Like you could make like a collage. You see how it's that easy. And I love this colorway. That is Spellbinders Waterfall cardstock if you're liking it. This is Dahlia. This is, I think that's beeswax. So pretty. I could put leaves on it but i don't have to and done if you want to put die cuts on it expect to see this card judged up and done <laughs> but i love how i can take this set on and you guys really have been loving this set and the small die of the month with the plane these two so this is this one and then this is the small die of the month i'll put the name here on the screen but isn't this fabulous like yeah you can just pull any florals you have another great set mini blooms and sprigs what you're looking for is a scale not the super large scale this is three sets of mini blooms and sprigs okay this doesn't come with that much also use four petal bloom reflections right in here you could use four petal thank you florals so just shop your stash or shop your new stash and have fun with these i am loving this and then you have a whole set of cards ready to go and in a pinch you don't have to do a darn thing with this too you can blend on it and you can use a color in the background right now obviously i'm liking just white with the hot foil i'm loving this clean look i think this is a by far winner once i started to glimmer it i did the whole entire thing this is just absolute Fun. I have seven cards done here and they were super 
quick and easy to hot foil. You can blend away if you want, but you don't have to either. You could just hot foil and done. Especially that thank you. That's a great one to give everybody. And lastly, there is the Hello Blooms Dye and Stencil Set. You get everything to make a flower and you can use any inks you have. Oh, speaking of this, this is Spellbinder's blending brush. It's a white blending brush. Now I don't have this size, but Spellbinder sent me this one. This is their three pack of detail brushes, mini blending brush set. Isn't this fabulous? You guys know I showed you one that I had hauled the other day that was like super small, super skinny that in my hand I could not hold. Well, let's talk about this one. You see, you can get into those spots like for the leaves and dedicate, and this does not have a bad price point. Just took them out the packaging, but nice feel, see, like a pen. Love, and this big one, not too big either. So you can use this for detailing. I like to keep these colors more into the greens and the pinks, especially for flowers like so, okay? This is a more coral colorway. This is an oversized stencil, but it does have registration marks. But I could use one of these sentiments, tap this on, and then stencil on top so you could have the sentiment with a flower on top of it. Or you can do the flower separately. Here is the bloom. There is the word hello with the shadow. Lots of option and play with this little Hello Blooms set. So I will play with this. I'll show you a card share. Alrighty crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Don't forget Glimmer Workshop Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern. Try to watch it live if you can because then you can get to ask all those Glimmer questions. Even if you think, oh, this is a dumb question, ask it because you are going to get the experts at Spellbinders to give you the right answers and get you using your fabulous machine so you can make loads and loads of cards. And gosh, this one, I would just keep this at my desk ready to go, glimmer up a bunch, put them on a card front, done. Always need a good thank you card and a good birthday card. Alrighty crafters, until the next video, stay crafty my friends. Bye.